better order your nursery stock early in 2021 before the prices rise dramatically. Here at Highland Hill Farm, it is December and we're doing our maintenance in our fields. We're gonna take a, a couple minutes and talk to you about something that many people have been asking us lately. We're talking, gonna talk about the shortage of nursery stock on the East Coast in Pennsylvania and New York and in New Jersey and why that is. And to understand why there is a shortage, we should start back in 2008 when there was a big recession. With the big recession hit, the nurseries just got pummeled. And trees that we were selling just to try to make keep afloat, we were selling at cost or even below cost just so that we could pay our guys. Many nurseries thought that it was not worth doing. And in that time period, a lot of nurseries went out of business. And I don't blame them. It's, it is a lot of work to run nurseries. And uh, if you're selling trees for less than what it costs you, it can be very disheartening. So we lost a lot of nurseries. We lost nurseries in our area here. I know that we lost nurseries up north of us and in south of us. But now the economy started getting a little bit better, so we're making money with nursery stock again. Then uh, what happened was it was Hurricane Sandy hit. And when Hurricane Sandy hit, a lot of nursery stock was sold to replace landscapes that were damaged because of Hurricane Sandy. So with the 2008, and nurseries going out of business combined with the the hurricane that damaged so much nursery stock the few nurseries that did remain had a lot of the materials sold at that point in time uh, this right here this is a norway spruce and just to give you an idea on rotations of of trees for nurseries penn state says that nursery a norway spruce takes 11 years from seed to five to six foot tall which is which is about right and we planted a uh, Norway, it's a 2-2, which is four years old, which then means it's another six to seven years before we get a five to six foot tall tree. So that's six to seven years that tree's been in the field for us to, to grow. That also goes true, brings true with, uh, with Christmas trees. Christmas trees is a very long rotation as well. And many of the larger shade trees is also a long rotation. So now we have a, a recession, which a lot of nurseries went out of business followed by a hurricane, which soaked up the remaining nursery stock that was available to replace the, the landscapes that were damaged. And then you have a, a long rotation to get trees up and saleable for people to buy that's of nice size and, and quality. And you put all those together and you start getting an idea of, well, there's not that much out available right now and there's not as many nurseries out there. And then the nurseries that are going into business those nurseries, they need time to learn. It's, nursery is more of an art than of a science. You gotta know how the soil reacts. You gotta know what trees grow well where, when your spray applications should be put in. And all those, every one of those factors is different at each nursery, at each farm, it's different. And it takes time for people to learn those little tricks to get the rotation to down so you get a fast, rotation on your trees and a high quality tree you can get it on out. Lately now we've had a, a new mix to our equation, a new variable, and that's with this pandemic. And believe it or not, with everybody being stuck at home and no one allowed them being moved everywhere, it makes it actually very good for the nursery industry because people being stuck at their home makes people want to buy new plants for around their house. Or if everyone's stuck at home and you don't want to see your neighbor anymore, you buy trees to block your neighbor. With that occurring too, that's also taking a lot of trees out of, of uh, what's available. And that's making a, a situation where there may not be many trees available for next year for people to purchase. Or if they are there, nurserymen like us are gonna want the as much money as they can get for it which is part of being in a system that we're in so we're going to try to raise our prices and that just culminates in a higher amount of money per tree and less trees that are available and i'm sure there's other factors that are involved in this situation that's coming up with the shortages that are there and the prices that are going up but that's a, that's just my opinion on what's occurring in the nursery industry Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And if people want trees or shrubs, how can they call you? Because we do have a lot of large trees and shrubs available here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. 
Well, you can contact me. My cell phone number is 267-446-2376. Or you can come in and visit my dad. He's here every day at Highland Hill Farm. And we're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, Pennsylvania. This also explains the shortage of Christmas trees in December of 2020.